guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is another 5 under 5 sins um, video and this edition is kind of like coffee time edition. <laughs> um, I've got a few kind of coffee break time um, snacky drinky bits. Um, basically inspired by my love of having a hot drink and sitting down and having something sweet with said hot drink. Um, so without further ado, let's just get into the video. And since it is coffee time edition, I am joined by a nice hot coffee. Which is decaf by the way. So obviously now I'm pregnant, um, I have to be careful on the caffeine. And coffee contains caffeine, as does tea, unless you get decaf. Um, this is a decaf. Uh, I have already had a coffee today that was a caf caf. Um, so yeah, this is currently decaf coffee that I'm drinking which was made in Matassimo and if you watch my videos a lot then you know that I love Matassimo and I have a Tassimo coffee every morning, I just can't help it. Um, so I thought I'd kick start with what I've got in my coffee um, and basically to sweeten it instead of using sugar because sugar is sins, I have been using coffee syrup. And my coffee syrup of choice at the moment is the Jordan Skinny Syrup um, Hazelnut Coffee Syrup. And this is, I think, the same rules as sweetener. So for just a teaspoon, it's sin-free. Um, I sometimes put in two teaspoons, but I'm pretty sure that that is still sin-free. So if you like to go to Costa or Starbucks or any other kind of high street coffee retailer person um, and you like to get a hazelnut, vanilla, caramel, latte, etc, etc, which I'm a big sucker for, then this is a good way that you can make it at home. And what I'll do is I'll use my Tassimo and I'll put in a pod of either the caffeinated or decaf black coffee. So not a fancy Costa latte pod or anything like that, just like the Kenko black Americano coffee. Um, so I'll do that and then I'll warm up about 100ml of my Hexa milk allowance in the microwave so the milk's nice and warm and then once the coffee is poured into the cup I'll add in the milk, I'll give it a stir and I'll add in some sugar free syrup and it's basically the same as having a latte from Costa or Starbucks but it's completely sin free. So that is my first on my coffee time edition 5 under 5 sins. Also, I'm going to add that I picked up this 750ml bottle in TK Maxx for £3.99 um, and I think they're selling on Amazon for like £10 something. So, if you live near a TK Maxx, head down there if you want to get your hands on some of these. They have a few different flavours and it's a lot cheaper than buying it online. Um, so yeah, and if you're only using a teaspoon at a time, just think how long this bottle's going to last you. Like, you're getting your bang for your buck. The next up is for when I can't be bothered to use my Tassimo because let's face it, it can be a bit of a faff sometimes. I mean, it's fairly simple to just pop in a pod of coffee and let it do its thing, but sometimes, you know, you just wanna have a quick cup of coffee, boil the kettle, pop in some coffee beans. Um, so this is the Crumpets and Coffee Ultimate Super Prim... La, 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 la. This is the Crumpets and Coffee Ultimate Super Premium Instant Coffee in Maple Walnut Flavour. Again, I like my coffee sweet. I know some people like it rich and black and strong. I like my coffee to taste sweet. So this is actually sin free um, and there are other brands out there as well. I think you can get Littles, um, Beanies, things like that. It's the same principle and it's a flavoured coffee, it's sin free, you don't have to use the syrup if you aren't into using kind of like syrups and sweeteners and things. Um, this just gives it that little bit of flavour without having to use any sugar, syrup, etc. Nice and easy, pop a teaspoon in your coffee, add your milk if you like milk, keep it black if you like it black and it's a nice coffee time treat. So to make my coffees extra fancy, because sometimes you know you just want to spoil yourself, I have the 30% less fat squirty cream and this is from Asda and it is one and a half sins per 12 grams. Um, so if you've got digital scales, what you can do is once your coffee is all made up, pop your coffee on top of the digital scales, top of the digital, <laughs> you can pop your coffee on top of the digital scales um, and then just squirt this on top and it will measure it out as you go. And 12.5 grams is actually quite a lot for squirty cream because squirty cream weighs like nothing 
Um, so you can have less than that, but I think the apps is 12.5 grams, so it's just easier to round it that way. Um, but yeah, one and a half sins for some squirty cream on top of your coffee to make it nice and extra special and extra fancy. If you like your options hot chocolates, um, and you want to make that extra fancy, you can add a squirt of this on top of your options hot chocolate as well. Or if you like, um, if you'd like to make like a homemade trifle, for example, you can use the Hartley sugar-free jelly. I can't remember the sins for that off the top of my head, but I think it's like half a sin or something. Put in some strawberries into the jelly, let it set. Use Miller Lite as like your custard alternative, and then squirt this on top, and you've got yourself a very low sin trifle dessert. Um, but in the theme of coffee and hot drinks, um, this is good as sort of your topping on top of your coffee or your hot chocolate if you want to keep it nice and low sin and feel like you're having a little fancy treat. Next up, and do forgive me for the state of the packaging because I have been tucking into these, um, it is the mini luxury hot cross buns from M&S and there's one left in this packet. I haven't demolished all nine, you get nine in a pack. Um, I have actually frozen some so that they'll last and I don't have to eat them all in one go because um, that would be such a shame <laughs> but they're about this size so you know they're still quite a good size they're five sins all together that's without butter obviously if you like to toast it and put butter on it then you would have to add the sins for that um, but in the spirit of Easter and coffee time, I like to have a hot cross bun with either a tea or a coffee. Um, I like to toast it. I do like to put some floral light on it, which adds another sin and a half. But because this is five under five, and this is exactly five sins, um, I'm not gonna mention the floral light, so shh. But yeah, this is another treat that I'm enjoying whilst it's Easter time. And as I said, I have stuck some in the freezer because um, they are freezable. Freeze, freeze, freezeable? They're freezeable. You can freeze them in your freezer and then defrost them, toast them, eat them as it is. You could just eat it like a cake. I don't know people that do that. I am a toasted kind of girl when it comes to my hot cross buns. They also do a chocolate orange version, which is four and a half sins. So you'd save yourself half a sin if you got the chocolate orange version. I am a sucker for the normal fruity kind though, I like my traditional hot cross bun, um, so this is my bun of choice, shall we say. And yeah, this is really nice, and five sins, you can't really go wrong. If you would like to be a bit more conservative with your sins when you're having a cup of tea or coffee and you just want something little to nibble on, I've seen these doing the rounds on Instagram and immediately I was like, hold up, peanut butter, Kit Kat bites. Peanut butter, okay. I, I love peanut butter. Um, if you don't love peanut butter, I, I, I'm i sorry, but I just don't understand your logic there, because I love peanut butter. So <laughs> these are 1.5 sins per peanut butter bite. So you can have two with a coffee, and that's three sins. Um, you could try really hard not to demolish the whole bag, but See, I haven't opened this pack because I was saying to Jack, oh, I'll wait, we'll open it together. But I kind of feel like, you know, it, for the spirit of the video, I need to open it up so you can see how big they are. Um, and, you know, I might as well sample one on camera as well. Share and reclose. If you have the willpower, Kit Kat, if you have the willpower. Da, 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 da. You know, it's quite, it's quite a good size. It's like half a mini finger. Um, now I've been told, I haven't checked these online, I inquired on Instagram as to the sin value of these and I was told 1.5 sins. If I find out differently or if you know differently then please do leave in the comments down below what the sin value is. Mm. Oh my gosh. I mean this is the life really isn't it? Good cup of coffee, good cheeky 1.5 peanut butter Kit Kat in, blah, blah, blah. can't get my words out because I'm just enjoying it so much. Mm. Now I'm going to be honest, I would struggle to stop at one because they are so good. If you like peanut butter then this is the snack for you if you like peanut butter. But I'm going to be good because I'm going out for dinner tonight and I think we're going for Italian. Um, which is going to be Sin City. But that is it for my five under five um, tea coffee edition. Um, I mean, I didn't feature any tea. I don't know why I said tea. 
I was going to call it Tea Time Edition, but then I didn't actually feature any tea, so we're calling it Coffee Time Edition. Um, because, you know, I'm a coffee girl. But I am a tea girl as well, actually. I don't know why I'm saying I don't drink tea. I'm rambling now. So, if you enjoyed this video, as always, please do leave me a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. If you have any different versions of sin values, which I believe were correct at the time of filming, but may or may not change, please do leave those down below. I will link everything that I can down below. Ah, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can see more videos like this on my channel. I do a lot of day in the life videos, what I eat in a day videos, um, maternity, pregnancy, uni videos, a whole range of lifestyle-y stuff. So yeah, please do hit that big red subscribe button, like this video if you enjoy, and leave your comments because I love to read them. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye!